Section 37. Important Events Connected with the General's Life and Work. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Tom Hirsch. 1827, January 17th. Catherine Mumford, afterwards Mrs. Booth, born at Ashbourne, Derbyshire. April 10th. William Booth, born at Nottingham. 1844. Conversion of Catherine Mumford and William Booth. 1852. April 10th. William Booth entered the Methodist ministry. 1855. June 16th. Marriage of William Booth and Catherine Mumford. 1856. March 8th. Birth of William Bramwell, now General Booth. 1859. Mrs. Booth's first pamphlet, Female Ministry, published. 1861. Commenced to travel as revivalist. 1865. July 5th. Commenced mission work in East of London. First headquarters opened in Whitechapel Road. 1868. Christian mission commenced work in Scotland. 1870. Publication of How to Reach the Masses by the Rev. W. Booth. 1875. Publication of the first volume of music. 1878. First deed poll signed legally constituting the Christian mission. Christmas. The name of the Christian mission altered to the Salvation Army and Rev. William Booth assumed the title of General. First Corps Flag presented by Mrs. Booth. Practical Christianity by Mrs. Booth published. 1879, December 29th. Publication of the first number of The War Cry. Formation of the first Salvation Army Band at Consett. 1880, Headquarters Removed to Queen Victoria Street, opening of the work in the United States and Australia, opening of first training college, publication of first orders and regulations, Godliness by Mrs. Booth published, 1881, work extended to France, first number of The Little Soldier issued, 1882, Opening of the Congress Hall and International Training College at Clapton. Marriage of W. Bramwell Booth and Captain Florence Soper. Work extended to Switzerland, Canada, Sweden, and India. Publication of Life and Death by Mrs. Booth. First prison gate home opened in London. 1883. Work extended to South Africa and New Zealand. 1884. The Training of Children by the General published. First Band Journal issued. First Rescue Home opened. 1885. All the World first published. Criminal Law Amendment Act passed. Trial and Acquittal of W. Bramwell Booth. 1886. Death of the Army's First French Martyr. The general paid his first visit to France, the United States, and Canada. First International Congress held in London. Work extended to Germany. Musical Salvationist published. Self-Denial Week established. First Orders and Regulations for Field Officers published. And First Orders and Regulations for Staff Officers published. 1887. Thousand British Corps established. First slum settlement established. Work extended to Holland, Denmark, and Zululand. First Crystal Palace anniversary demonstration. Auxiliary League founded. General paid his first visit to Denmark, Sweden, and Norway. Popular Christianity by Mrs. Booth published. 1888. First food depot opened at Limehouse. Work extended to Norway, Argentine, Finland, and Belgium. June 21st. 
Mrs. Booth gave her last public address. 1889. The petition for the Sunday closing of public houses, with 436,500 signatures, presented to the House of Commons by the General. Publication of the Deliverer. General visited Belgium, Denmark, Sweden, and France. 1890. 25th anniversary of the Army celebrated at the Crystal Palace. October 4th. Mrs. Booth's death. October 13th. Funeral service at Olympia. 36,000 present. October 14th. Funeral at Abney Park. Publication of In Darkest England by the General. 1891. Work extended to Italy and Uruguay. General first visited South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, and India. 1,000 pounds subscribed for Darkest England scheme. General signed Darkest England trust deed. Opening of industrial and land colony at Hadley, Essex. Publication of Social Gazette. 1892. General visited Denmark, Germany, and Switzerland. Publication of Life of Catherine Booth. 1892. Work extended to West Indies. 1893. General visited Denmark, Sweden, Belgium, Holland, and Norway. 1894. International Congress in connection with the General's Jubilee held in London. General visited America and South European countries. Work extended to Java. 1895. General visited South Africa, Australia, and various European countries. Work extended to Japan and British Guiana. Naval and Military League established. 1896. General visited Germany, Sweden, Switzerland, and Denmark. Preached to 12,000 in King's Gardens, Copenhagen. First Salvation Army Exhibition, Agricultural Hall, London. Work extended to Malta. 1897. General inspected work in European countries. 1898. General visited United States, Canada, and European countries. Orders and regulations for social officers published. 1899. Second Salvation Army Exhibition, Agricultural Hall. Visited Australia, New Zealand, Ceylon, and European countries. Officers sent to the front to work amongst both sides in the South African War. 1900. General visited European countries. 1901. General visited European countries. Opening of First Inebriates Home at Hadley. 1902. General visited United States, Canada, and European countries. Publication of Religion for Every Day by the General. 1903. General visited America, Canada, and European countries. Received by President Roosevelt. 1904. June 24th. The General received by His Majesty, King Edward VII, at Buckingham Palace. June 25th. International Congress opened by the General in London. July 23rd. General received by Her Majesty, Queen Alexandra, at Buckingham Palace. August commenced his motor campaign. Work extended to Panama. General visited various European countries. 1905. General visited Palestine, Australia, and various European countries. First emigration ship sails from Liverpool for Canada with 1,000 emigrants. The General created Honorary DCL, Oxford. General received Freedom Cities of London and Nottingham. 1906. Establishment of Anti-Suicide Bureau. General conducted lengthy campaigns continental countries. 1907. General visited Japan, America, Canada, etc. 
general received by kings of Denmark and Norway, and Queen of Sweden and Emperor of Japan. 1908. Work extended to Korea. General visited South Africa. 1909. General visited Russia, Finland, and other European countries. General received by kings of Norway and Sweden. General received by Prince and Princes of Wales, now King and Queen of England. General received by Queen Alexandra and the Dowager Empress of Russia. 80th birthday celebration at Albert Hall, London. Met with accident involving loss of sight in one eye. 1910. General visited various European countries. 1911. General visited Italy and other European countries. General conducted International Social Council in London, attended by officers from all over the world. 1912. General visited North European Staff Council in Norway. May 23rd. Operation on Remaining Eye, followed by complete loss of sight. August 20th, the general laid down his sword. End of Section 37 Recording by Tom Hirsch End of the Authoritative Life of General William Booth by George Scott Railton